last class uh, seen right uh, last class we discussed so what is playbook and uh, so how to write uh, so ansible playbook you know right uh, so just uh, we executed so that is uh, simply if you want to rewrite any ansible playbook uh, so that is a basic syntax and all so if you know that syntax uh, and we can easily we can easily write in our playbook that's it uh, so uh, that is a basic syntax next under the task section we can add we can add multiple we can add your uh, multiple uh, modules and all and we can execute it so that's it can you put on uh, kishore can you click on mute please thank you can you see Sorry, my sir. screen okay no problem so can you see my screen see my screen yes sir okay, okay. yes sir so now let me connect my instances uh, this is ansible server click on connect so copy this session and uh, so close okay so copy this one message key and uh, go to here right click action git bash Now sudo hyphen just connect your uh, sudo hyphen i root user and switch that uh, devops user. This is our common users, right? And uh, so already we seen right uh, how to what is playbook and uh, so how to declare those and all we'll see. Now come to here and uh, so if you want to where is our file? Okay, here. So ansible. This is our already I sent it. Right? This is for your reference only. So now we know right also uh, how to write a playbook and all. Now here uh, this is already we added uh, so many playbooks. Just try it. Now this is the copy model already we used. This is a file model and state equal touch and also file. And uh, so here we are creating a file and change the permission. If you want to add any permission and all, we can check it. And this is the copy and all already you know what is copy and all copy name and uh, so now we'll see what is the loop so how to create a uh, multiple files and uh, so how to what is the loops loop means suppose we have multiple items so if you go and search uh, ansible loop or ansible loop statements means they will give many example so now as of now I created only one file right no 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 I want to create uh, so multiple files at a time. So how can I create multiple files? Uh, now got it guys. Now as of now you know. Simply we are using uh, so simply you know right uh, how to create a single empty file. If you want to create empty file. So simply we are writing uh, so uh, this is a uh, hyphen. Uh, we are this is our playbook right. Uh, so we can give some name. Any name. Uh, directly we can use host also. So directly we can use a host and uh, here we can give a group name. Put on mute please. Someone is unmuted. Host name. And uh, so here uh, dev servers. And uh, so here we added right uh, so click up equal to given and other uh, task section and uh, so iPhone name. So I want to create multiple files. So create file means so we know how to create file and all. So create a file. Okay. Here we know right. Uh, so file model we are using, and also last class we seen right. So DST destination destination equal to where you want to create. Okay. You put on mute please. Someone is unmuted. Sravani. Can you put on mute please? Hello? Sravani? So now escape. I'm going to here. Now where are you? This is right. 
now we know right uh, so here state equal to state state equal to i am passing here uh, what is this touch t o u t h right uh, touch now how many files it will create here only one file or multiple files only one file or multiple files only one file only one file now so in ansible also ansible people also they are providing loop concept there is also they are providing loop concept also now how to iterate and how to you know write a print those and all we will say that so ansible ansible uh, loop okay so there is a uh, multiple ways uh, there is multiple ways uh, we can do so just go through upsell document and these are the loops okay we can use uh, with and uh, with items or we can use loop or we can use until so that is multiple ways uh, we can implement that is your wish guys whatever you want uh, we can uh, check it now see here so here uh, see standard loop concept so iterating over a simple list val now this is up to here same story only now this is the user user is the one model right so user is the one model and uh, so this is the loop so loop here how many users they added two users they added okay now how to iterate these values uh, so with the help of uh, this is the syntax guys so this is the syntax so this is the syntax so this is the syntax very simple only so loop concept or we can use uh, with items also now there is multiple ways uh, here variable they are given tag and all so with also we can see is there any they were used with items with items here everything they are using loop only or uh, so what we will see so now i want to create also multiple users not only one user i want to create multiple users now we you know how to create a user sandal so how to create user first tell me that ada comments so how to create user sandal and i will show you how to create multiple users what is the command i want to create a user one user so how to create a user hmm. ansible all servers hyphen a hyphen m what is the module name user hyphen a ah, now tell me hmm. hyphen b name equal to name equal to username right for example i given abc yes, user and state equal to state or something password sir ah password password sir pass W R D password equal to, for example, A B C one two. Just I given something. Uh, next time, uh, that's it, right? So how many users it will create? Only one user. No, no, sir. I want to create uh, so five users, uh, or I want to create ten users at a time. Now, if you want to create uh, so those many users at a time, so now we should go for. Uh, so now we should go for. So any loop concept we can use with items, uh, or we can use uh, you know right. Uh, we can use a loop so whatever you want we can follow that is that is up to you only so we can use anything so we can use uh, so anything so first we need to write the one playbook first you need to write the playbook so you know right uh, how to write a playbook and all uh, you know right uh, how to write a playbook and all so first uh, first four lines is same only first four lines same story only whatever you want uh, so we can add it so whatever you want so we can uh, so add it Okay, first create a playbook. Now come to here, sudo vi, sudo vi. I am creating a sudo vi. Create user. Okay, user start yml or yml. This is my playbook. Insert. Ah, now same story. Hmm. So now coming to here, iphone name. This is optional only. Or directly we can use a host also. I for name, okay. Create multiple users, okay. Now host. Uh, what is your host group name? Dev. Dev servers. Or we can use all also, okay. Dev servers. Uh, next uh, task. T A S K S right? Task. Next uh, I for name. Okay. Uh, become true also we need so that is the full uh, sometimes uh, there is some uh, root issue right become true ok 
can now coming to here name equal to so create users okay next what is the mo uh, task and what is the module name to create the users Use. user Clear. sir hmm, user uh, next so name equal to now one one user we can create now we need to multiple users right so multiple users uh, so we can use uh, this is the syntax guys we can follow anyway so we can here we are using uh, some you know right uh, see here with items uh, we can use with items or uh, so we can use loop also just now we seen right so loop so loop means uh, we can this is the syntax so this is the syntax if you want to use a loop concept exactly if you want to use a loop now see here now i am using same only just to see here copy this one and uh, coming to here same whatever you want so now name equal to so generally we are passing one username right so generally we are passing so generally we are passing only one user now i want to create multiple users at a time so i want to create a multiple this is optional no need to give any group and all so if you want to we can use it group also okay so now see here so this is the syntax so this is the syntax okay now and simple loop right loop is a model name right so up to model and these are the user for example i want to add these are the for example i am using uh, so uh, dev one user and uh, so dev two user dev two user and uh, so like this we can add many users now at a time i want to create uh, so these are the loop guys so dev three user dev three user and also this is the test user okay test user one and uh, so now test user two now total i want to five users so how to how to read this uh, values how to iterate these items uh, so this is a syntax guys name equal to so generally we are passing this name right so generally we are passing username for example uh, so dev dev one user means we are passing like this only this is the one user no, no no i want to iterate i want to iterate multiple users so that users and all i am added here under the loop so these are the my users list so how to read these items how to read these users one by one so this is the syntax guys double quotation this is the uh, curly uh, you know right flower by two times and this is the item this is the item and also end with uh, double curly and double quotation and state equal to present this and all you know already state equal to present means it will create the users okay it will create the users that's it only we need to remember uh, this one now see here how they we can iterate and all so see here repeated task can be written in the standard loops repeated task these are the users every time i want to read first time it is reading test one that i this a this uh, you know right uh, this uh, string it will come to here first time and second time it is uh, it is calling second item third item up to end of all items now see here here how how many users added five users so first time it is coming uh, so dev one user now state equal to present it will create again it is reiterating now second time it is coming dev two user and state equal to present it is created third time dev three user it is coming state equal to present created fourth time test user one okay test user one state equal to present created for fifth time test user two and state equal to present now clear guys so like this up to we can iterate the elements uh, multiple times uh, so it in the loops uh, see repeat it to task you can define the list directly in the task so now i declare the list so if you want to we can declare the directly list also like this also we can call it there is a uh, depends on the requirement we can add uh, multiple ways whatever you want see here name equal test to user state equal to present group name we added now i i, I remove that group name that is optional only now see here iterative over the list of hashes so this is also one number hash means uh, key and value so if you want to pass multiple groups and all so now see here name equal to test one and group equal to wheel name equal to test two 
group equal to root now i am see group also i am reading and this is the user names and this is the state equal to present and groups also item so first we'll see now here anyone any doubt guys how it is coming first it is coming to here user model first it will come the loop element first it is coming which element first element dev1 user and state equal to present first it will create the first user now second time it will read dev user and state equal to present second time it will create third time dev3 dev3 user fourth time test user one fifth time this one clear guys anyone any doubt suppose if you want to if you want to create multiple files or if you want to create multiple users so i have some more elements but i don't want to pass static i want to read dynamically that is within the loop so that case we can we go for loop so here anyone any doubt so as of now here we are passing directly dev1 it will create only one username correct yes or no so just leave it this concept leave it and this is leave it so up to here i hope everyone know what is this it will create only one user now i want to create multiple users at a time so now we need to pass some list elements somewhere and we can read those elements and all clear sevaje so that case we can go for a loop or we can use with items also first we'll see loop now escape colon x only we need to remember loop and how to call that element how to how to call that element that's it so ansible iphone playbook playbook i am sorry and so create users iphone iphone syntax s y n t a x iphone check what is this it will check whether your playbook is everything indentation you are following properly or not if we have any issues it is showing error message anyway it is clear now so before that and uh, so let me connect my uh, one uh, any mission uh, ls first to go to cd slash uh, etc slash ansible and uh, so ls and cat space uh, host so here how many ips i added here only one host mission 175 okay so only 175 last cd cd space till okay and uh, so how to connect your uh, host mission ssh username devops at i want to connect directly my server and this is my host ip so this is my host ip now see here now i am in host mission check uh, how many users available so we, what is the default file name guys which file all users list and all available already we seen many times already executed many times what is the file name i want to see all users list what is that file name all configuration files under one directory what is the directory name etc under the etc what is the file name anyone cat space etc slash all users list and all you know right pass wd so now see here so do we have any users as of now dev1 user dev2 user dev3 user uh, test user 1 test user 2 can you see here observe here check it do we have any users no right yes or no so this is the default file guys already we executed many times sir. so etc slash pass wd so all users uh, we can uh, find here only that list of users and all so anyway so uh, is there any file dev1 user sorry dev, any user dev2 user dev3 user no right yes or no okay no, i don't have any user let me come to my server now i am in uh, host exit now so come to here and uh, so execute your uh, file playbook okay so ansible iphone playbook i don't want to check syntax and all so directly i am executing uh, so create users file now so in this uh, so it is connected see here changed 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 see here so five times five users is created first it is coming which user which item it is coming first item 
bev1 user it is created second time bev2 user it is created third time dev3 user it is also created fourth time it is item is coming test user 1 okay now see okay to change also one now go to here this mission check it whether really created or not now see here now cat space cat space etc slash what is the file name pass wd now see here created or not now got it guys here anyone any doubt yes. in this playbook so if you want to iterate or if you want to read multiple values i don't want to single single item so i want to store these items one loop and how to iterate so this is the syntax so this is the syntax now see here very simple only cat space create user where i mean l ls cat space uh, so create a users dot yml now see here so this is the loop so here i mean how many items added five no 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 if you want to 10 also we can add 20 also we can add 100 also we can add it now how your playbook is executing first time it is reading it will execute trigger so item first item it will come first one and second time it is coming second one only third time so every time state equal to present state equal to present state equal to present like this up to end of the loop up to end of the loop if anyone java if anyone knows c so we can easily understand so what is the loop and how it will iterate so now clear guys anyone any doubt here so this is the okay. syntax first we need to remember only this syntax that's it what is this how to read that items and all so this is the item okay that's it and uh, so remaining story same only remaining same story only here name equal name equal to name equal to name colon right so name colon and uh, so here uh, earlier we are giving single username now i passed now state equal to now state state equal to same present okay state equal to see here same present right present now this is the syntax loop okay so this is the syntax so under the loop so this is entered a space hyphen and we need to give items which item you want so here i want to rama user or i want to shiva user and so we can give what is abc user now see here so like this we can add all users so now now how it will read this first it is a trigger first it is come to this loop and what is the first item rama so here i call it item right this is a syntax okay so first it will come rama so instead of what is this meaning so first it is coming so rama okay first item it is coming rama state equal to present it is done and second second item what is the second item second time it is coming as shiva so state equal to present shiva also created and it is a read again third item what is the third item abc state equal to present abc also created fourth item bf so state equal to present it is also created clear up to end of the loop so this is very simple syntax only just we can understand here what is loop and how it will work and all so see here ansible offers the loop the keyword to execute the task multiple times i want to execute my task multiple times now this is my task right so this is my task what is the task name what is the model name user this model i want to execute multiple times so up to end of this elements now got it that's it very simple so what is this meaning loop so execute a task multiple times here how many times it is executed how many times anyone five times five times suppose if i add 100 items how many times this user model execute 100 times if you add 1000 so based on your requirement now clear so that case mostly we would go for loop concept clear yeah. or one more also right with item so mostly we can use with also now see here already you know right uh, 
so let me create a with item how it will work same story only so sudo vi sudo vi uh, multiple files now i'm going to create uh, multiple files in intro also one guy asked guys so they want to create multiple files one log file one text file one configuration file different different file they want to create now see here okay now go to here okay create multiple files okay h o s t s host okay so dev s a r servers okay now it become they are true next okay what is the file here i created yml file or any color sandal it is coming different escape colon extension should be what file i given txt file right no no not txt file what file we need txt or yml yml right okay so that is the reason uh, so the colors and all it will not change okay now okay now insert now ta task okay iphan name okay whatever name you can pass it same create whatever you can multiple files okay now uh, what is the model name <coughs> so file you want to create model name file now tell me syntax first uh, let me tell uh, tell me uh, ada comments how to create uh, so file how, how it will work a file model file hyphen m file hyphen a uh, next uh, how to create file already we know right that is the that is the what is this uh, this is a name only or else uh, we can go here add a comments so file model right so how it will work a file means copy and uh, so file iphone m file model now see here destination we need to give right destination path and state equal to present so destination path how we are passing means only destination where we want to create these files now same story only now if you come to here playbook and all now see here so here name name equal to so here a same story name equal to so and state equal to state present okay present now so there is a with items with underscore items colon so which file you want to create for example i want to so log okay so test dot log file i want to create one log file and uh, so iphan i want to so dev dot dev apps dot config file c o n f config file okay c config okay cfg actually configuration file and i want to create these are the items guys whatever you want now i want to give sample dot txt file okay uh, test or uh, file one dot txt file whatever you want file one dot txt file so like this we are going to add multiple files here see here one config refine and db properties file i want to one properties file okay dev db dot properties file so how many files you want to create here so with items so, so we can use with items for new files present for new file state not present touch yes sir. sorry sorry touch only not present uh, touch only and uh, so name also we need to update right so to use a touch uh, what is the syntax here how to read double quotation and also uh, space and what is the syntax item space close the flower bracket that's it this is the syntax sir. now so this file model execute how many times 
four times. Sir. Four times, sir. Okay, that is right. Just now we saw. So execute the task multiple times, sir. Based on your items, sir. Now these are my items, sir. How many items, sir? First test dot log file. First it is coming here, and uh, state equal to touch. Sir. It is creating. Suppose if you want to add any mode, you know, right? Uh, so how to add mode and all? So we can add this one also. If you want to, we can see mode equal to. So what is seven double five? Anyone? What is seven double five? Mode zero seven double five. I given like this. Sir. For this file, first it is creating file test file. For this, what is the permission we add assigned here? Seven double five. Seven means zero user. Five means group. Five means others. Sir. Now tell me what permissions? Seven means which permission for users? Sir? Permission. Read permission, write permission, and execute, execute permission. permission. For group, five. Five means four plus one. Yes, sir. Mm. Four means read. read one means execute permission. Okay. For others also five. Four plus one five. That's write permission and also execution permission. So that is based mm. depends on your requirement. Okay. Now this is the first. It will come test dot log state equal touch, and this is the permission. Second time it will iterate. Second item devops dot csv touch created, and this is the mode. Third time file one dot txt touch. Okay, this is the permission. Fourth time dev db dot properties file. So here I am going to create multiple files. Here which files I created? Multi different different files. I want to create at a time. One file you know how to create. But I want to create different files, and also I want to single uh, one time, right? So now see here, this is the same loop. Now execute it, escape, colon. Now this uh, so file model will execute four times. Now before that, uh, so let me check it. Do we have any? So do we have any files? I think you don't have, right? First let me this out. This is my host. This is my host. Yes, sir. So here we don't have any files, right? Only rama.txt file is there. Now exit. Now let me execute my playbook. So ls how to run Ansible, Ansible hyphen playbook p l a y playbook Ansible hyphen playbook and uh, so your playbook name multiple files. Okay. So multiple files dot yml. Okay. Hyphen hyphen syntax. Tags. Iphone check. Iphone. Iphone syntax. Iphone check. That's it. So everything okay. Now run it. So now I am running this my playbook. Now see here, gathering facts, and see here four times. First time, first item, first time it is coming item name. Test dot log. Item second time. Dev app dot cfd. Third time item file one dot txt fourth time what is the item db dev db dot properties okay now connect your uh, host now see here now ls now see here how many files created four files created now take it what is the permission which permission we given for all these files for user read write execution for group read execution and others also read execution. Now see here all files. Now got it, guys. Anyone any doubt here? This is same story only. Already you know. Just uh, so how to try it. Now let me update uh, same file, and I'm going to update uh, same here. Va multiple sorry escape colon x. So multiple dot yml yml okay now we run it insert now this time I am going to update uh, only read permission only read permission so and for this also I given only sir, can we change destination here sir like under uh, temp directory we want to create these files ah uh, that that time we need to give uh, so in before uh, here before we need to add so that uh, path and all. Now by default it is creating which directory? 
root directory. Root, not root directory, user home directory. Home. Not root, user home directory. By default, it is, if you are not mentioning anything, by default, this all it is executing under the root, under the user home directory, not root directory. Okay. What is your user? DevOps, right? Under the DevOps, home slash DevOps, under we can see these files. Clear? Now I updated the mode 5. Double four for user I given read execution permission for other group and others I given only read access now I am executing same file now check it now how it will work now see here multiple YML file now come into uh, connect your host mission this is my host mission and uh, so LL now check it so earlier we can see earlier we can see read write execution for user right now we can see only read and execution for group read for others also read now clear guys so user already available now it is checking right so it is checking now suppose if you want to change this user name and this is change if you by default root user root group if you want to change you know right one more change its mode correct so that also we can change it this all are the all are linux commands only so everything if you if you very well linux we can easily play with we can easily add multiple commands here also now if you observe here this is the loop i hope now we got it right so now what is the syntax and how it will work so there is c with sequential now right now i'm using with items now see here this is the with items with index items and all and uh, so with the flower there is multiple ways with items now see here ansible with items item name and we can add that items so this is depends on your requirement we can use anyone guys i am not saying 100 percent we are using only loop and 100 percent we are using with items that is depends on your requirement and we can use anyone with the items we can use there is multiple uh, ways we can do it right so that is up to you we can use anyone so this many ways we can use it this all are the so this all are the loops see, see here migrating from the x loop these are the loops we can use anyone so we can use uh, anyone so, so specifically if you want to loop means uh, so that case we can use loop only so enter also two people they asked not everyone one or two people they asked so can you create multiple files or can you create multiple users so how we can create multiple users so that case we should go for which one loop loop or loop or with items not only these two mostly we are using with items or loop there is multiple see this many ways we can use it that uh, that is uh, no need to learn all these things but uh, if you know one thing remaining also same thing only remaining also so with list also is that see here with list this is also see with list one two and message just i'm printing now we'll see this and this is very simple there is one more model also is there message a debug model guys so debug model means uh, for printing purpose if you want to print something so this is debug also one model in interval also they are asking uh, so we can say debug model so you know right copy model file model service model next uh, you know right uh, m model next uh, repo model git model so this is also one model see sudo vi sudo vi um, sudo vi what is this model uh, test debug debug dot uh, yml i given a uh, yml and uh, so insert so same Now instead of, uh, so here we can to add. The best practice every time we can add it. This is not mandatory first line or if you want to, we can add it, okay. Mm. Just I given, H-O-S-T-S host, okay. Dev as servers, okay, become next hyphen name hyphen space name colon name colon space okay print values just i given print right 
okay now what is the module name here debug debug colon and uh, so here uh, so if you want to print anything msc guys msc and same story only Blue quotation space item okay now so with list here i am using list so here we are using a list only okay so we need to give two space okay list one item that's it if you want to we can give space and uh, so two and I am adding multiple list items. iPhone three, iPhone four, iPhone five. Now see here six. Okay. Now these are the with list items. Now I want just say I am printing here. That's it. Here I am printing. So if you want to print anything, there is a one model guy debug model. So debug model mostly for printing purpose we are using also debug model so ansible debug okay so ansible debug debug okay now see here built in debug models print statement print the statement you see this model part of the ansible including ansible so what is the main purpose so this model print the statement during the execution so while executing the my playbook I want to print uh, so if you want to print uh, there is a one parameter we can pass it msc see here so printed if omitted print the generic message or if you want to we can variables or we can verbosity there is multiple actions also we can pass it so simply I want to print the some uh, my list elements now first it is coming one it is printing one and second time second item two it will print the two and third item three and fourth five sixth same only now see here ansible iphone playbook ansible iphone playbook and playbook name iphone iphone syntax tax iphone check that's it command not Found Ansible iPhone playbook test debug. Uh, any type of playbook. So actually, I am in cat space. This is the host guy. This is the host guys. Now got it. So actually I created a so host mission. Let me copy this one Not here. This is host right 175 is host here Ansible packages software is not available Only here we need to create. Okay, sudo vi Test debug dot yml now got it why there we are unable to execute so Ansible software is not available now come to here dot dot okay now name print values and all escape colon x now ansible hyphen playbook ansible hyphen playbook and also test debug test debug dot yml hyphen hyphen syntax hyphen check it there is a error oh, what is the error the error appears on the test debug line number five, but mail elsewhere in the depends extra syntax problem and the loading YML did not find the expected key. Where is the error? Hmm. One line we missed. What is that line? Hmm. Hmm. 
task we missed ta ta s k s right task we missed okay escape colon x now okay now run it now see here it will print uh, only that uh, so that's it we can see only that message and all see here so it is printing see here item one one the message equal to one second time two third time three fourth time four fifth time fifth so sixth time sixth so it will execute this model multiple times so what is the model name here we use it what is the model debug. debug model so debug model if in our playbook uh, if you want to print anything if you want to print anything so that case uh, we should go for debug model in that case we should go for debug model clear guys so anyone any doubt as of now so here uh, many playbooks already we added here and uh, just try to practice it all are simple simple only see here file model just updated and uh, see here uh, someone asked right where you want to create that path so that path you need to mention your full path if i am not mentioning here by default it is printing here only home slash user directory suppose somewhere if you want to create so that case uh, we need to give the path so where right here temp right someone is asking temp correct tmp got it so like this we need to add it that's it so by default it is creating under home directory only suppose if you want to change that uh, destination path so that case we can give that path now here also is there this is also same only file and here i am using also multiple items one is location file and second one is mode so first location item dot location means first time it is coming file one and item dot mode means for this file so this is the mode and uh, so item equal location second time it is coming file to and item dot mode so what is the mode seven double six so same only so these are the so with items we can use with items or we can use a loop or we can use a with list there is many things we can use right that is depends on your requirement uh, we can use anyone we can use anyone clear guys so anyone any doubt here What's Ravani? Clear? Yes. So when we do absent, sir? Absent means uh, deleted, right? Uh, remove. Okay. Uh, if you go here, absent, right? Uh, so Ansible, if you don't, already just now I created file. Now I want to remove all files. Now execute this one. Now already, right? Uh, so ls and uh, multiple files. Pad space, multiple files. Mm -hmm dot yml so this is the state equal to touch no no sir i want to remove this all files deleted all files so how to delete how to delete five five files i want to delete Let sudo vi and space now in this state don't use touch now we are using what is this absent, absent. that's it absent escape colon that's it now run it simple life and play playbook now see here it is removed if really if you want to check go and check it connect to our host mission just check it now that file is available or not do you have any file no right removed clear sravani yes deleted now exit now i am exit again i am running a same command now see here what is happening now see here change equal to zero that file is available or not not available so if it is not available it won't do anything it won't uh, so do anything so that is the absent means uh, so removing that file or directory whatever you want clear so that yes. case we can use uh, absent and touch means it will create the file
so clear guys just try to practice it so already here uh, already many playbooks available small small playbooks and all and uh, so just try to practice it and the next class we'll see how to add uh, tags and all for every task and how to call those one we'll see next class okay so that's it from my side today and uh, if you